Snap this photo and you can see the dog standing up. He's having a good time and look at that blue suit. Got to love that. So thank you, Gabriella, for sending this one in. And of course, we had more snow across Grundy County. This was in Flat Branch. Thank you, Les Hall, for that photo. Just a lot of snowy scenes in Grundy, Marion, and even northern Sequatchie County. Some areas picked up as much as two inches of snow, but that is long gone. Temperature soared into the 40s and 50s this afternoon, and that low pressure is moving out. So we're clearing out. We're not going to be dealing with any more active weather. The roadways have mainly dried out. We had some sun sunshine earlier this afternoon and evening, so I don't anticipate any issues. Maybe a slick, slick spot or two into North Georgia and Western North Carolina, but other than that, really not anticipating too much in the way of issues here. But temperatures are, again, well above freezing, even in the higher elevations. Blue Ridge at 42, same for Murphy, 48 degrees in Chattanooga and 46 in Altamont. So those areas that picked up the snow earlier rose well above freezing, so I don't anticipate that there's much snow left behind, but it was a nice scene this morning. Here's a look at your Skywatch reports. Again, rainfall amounts a half of an inch in Murphy, over a half of an inch in Chatsworth. Signal Mountain picking up eight tenths. Parts of Signal also picked up a couple of snowflakes, but really no accumulation. Gwinnetop Lookout had an inch of rain. She also had a quick dusting of snow, but that quickly melted. And Jeremy and Monteagle picked up two inches of snowfall and he says it's all gone. So again, it was the here this morning and gone this afternoon. What a classic southern snow and been in Somerville also picking up an inch of rain. So nothing here in the valley, just some wet weather, which was kind of what we were expecting. But as we go into the tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful day. Temperatures in the 60s, plenty of sunshine. Then going into Tuesday, clouds build in. Don't anticipate any rain, but then Wednesday we'll have a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm or two. Temperatures are going to be well into the 60s, but Thursday is the day you need to circle. That's that's when we could be tracking another round of active weather. A cold front comes through and by the afternoon and evening, there's going to be a pretty strong line of storms pushing through the area. So I do think there will be the potential for some severe storms. I think the primary threat damaging wind gusts, but this is a day we're going to have to watch pretty closely to see how all of the ingredients come together. And it does look like we are going to get quite a bit of rain Wednesday into Thursday. I would say anywhere from about one to two inches of rain throughout the week will be possible. Most of that coming on Thursday. Again, you can see that good swath of heavy showers and rainfall accumulation over the Tennessee Valley. And of course, the severe aspect of this will be across the Mid-South on Wednesday, pushing into the Tennessee Valley as we go into your Thursday. So again, this is something we're going to have to monitor pretty closely as we move into the middle of the week. But for tonight, it is going to be cold and clear. Temperatures drop into the mid 20s in spots, upper 20s here in the Murphy and Blue Ridge, 32 in Chattanooga tomorrow again after a cold start. It is going to be a really, really nice start to the work week. Temperatures climbing into the mid 60s. Plenty of sunshine, very pleasant. And then as we take a look at your seven day forecast, Tuesday the clouds build in, which is Valentine's Day, but it's going to be a pretty nice day to go out on a nice date. And then seven days from now, we'll still be in the 60s with some storms by the middle of the week.